So I'm kind of edgy, you know? Kind of hardcore, you know? Kind of badass, you know? So one of the ways that I really stick it to the man is by not paying for my time on parking meters. So, um, basically let me give you some context to this robot. I was walking down the street and noticed that the parking meter had a button that said, I'll press here for a free 15 minutes. And then I thought to myself, you know, what if I made a robot to press that button every 15 minutes? And I kind of thought to myself, yeah, that'd be funny, you know, whatever. So I thought it'd be cool to make a video uh, out there out of this robot and put it on YouTube and I had that idea back in fall and you know I thought it'd be like a nice little easy robot that I could make into a fun little video. Um, it's spring now so I guess that kind of shows that this was not an easy little robot to make. Um, basically it took me a while because there were three things that made this hard. First being that um, the legality of it. I didn't know if it was legal, turns out it very much was not. But luckily I did find a little legal loophole and that is that it is only illegal if there's a car on the spot. So we should be good. Um, second part was getting it to actually strap to the parking meter. So the way this works is it just straps to the parking meter and presses that button every 15 minutes. And the way that I solved that was actually with this. A 3D printed bracket and a bungee cord that then ties around the back of the parking meter like so. And then it and then it straps on and it works. Uh, the thing is that that 3D printing bracket took some time to make. It was really tough to press that button. Like a normal servo just wasn't cutting it, which is why I purchased this 25 kilogram servo that runs off five volts. And yeah. Okay, so this is the part of the video that I know I know you want to click off. That's right. It's the nerd shit. This is where I get into the really inner workings of the robot, go into the code, go into all that stuff. This robot is simple. This nerd shit, literally skip to here if you don't want to see it, but look it. Look it. That is such a small amount of time from here or here or wherever it is, I forget. Um, so yeah. Anyway, the way that it works is this Arduino right here controls and powers this servo. And the code says every 15 minutes, this should move, press the button, and move back. And it loops. And that's it. Look at that. Nerd shit finished. We've reached that timestamp already. Look at that. And so yeah, uh, that's all the nerd shit. Now we just have the testing, my favorite part of the video. So I'm just going to cut to pass Drew, and hopefully he explains it well. Here's the first prototype. Um... Sorry about the bad quality, you know, and audio quality. You know, we have cars rushing by and also that coveted uh, Android video quality. Um, but basically, what I have here is an Arduino attached to half of a mount that I made, and the other half is a bungee cord, because I lost the other half. Um, power uh, bank, and then basically, a, um, it doesn't fit all the way, because I 3D printed it wrong. Uh, an Arduino, and then a servo that I duct taped because I forgot to make a mount. So here's the final all set up. Look at how stealthy it is. Just, you can barely even notice. Like, look it. From a distance, you, you don't even notice anything. So, two minutes ago, I pressed the button. And so now we have another while until this actually uh, goes off. So I'll come back then. So we're about two minutes in, but uh, somehow there have already been like three people that have walked by. And, um... Cars. It's kind of funny. I mean, it's not really funny, but uh, they'll walk by and I'll be like, oh, hi, hello. And then they just will be like, oh, hi. And then just stare at the parking meter. Just look right at it. And they, I, I don't really want to be like, oh, don't worry, it's a robot, and go into a full explanation of everything that's going on. So I just kind of let them think what they want to think. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys my setup and why so many people think I'm insane. We have my bike. Uh, we have my bag. And then where I've been sitting, I've just kind of been sitting here working on my stuff. Before it was, before I hooked it up, I just kind of sat there and worked on the ground, so I looked really homeless. And then I hooked it up, and I've just kind of been pacing back and forth in front of the store. And then of course we have this, just beacon of I don't. It, it looks like a bomb. Oh my, oh my God, it looks like a bomb, dude. That do people think it's a bomb? 
come back and there are two minutes remaining. Um, so we're just gonna wait for these couple minutes, uh, record. As you can see, it's, once again, I kind of taped up the wires so they weren't just flying around. Um, because it's pretty windy today, as you can probably hear. Um, but yeah. There it is. Just kind of inconspicuous. I might back up a bit. Um. Are you serious? This is attempt number two, which is kind of upsetting that we had to wait, but we're going to just press the reset button. And... Are you serious? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we have 15 minutes remaining. And I'll come, I'll be back in about 14 minutes. So we have around one minute remaining. This is exciting. This is take two, as you guys have probably seen. I've been out here for about 30 minutes, just looking absolutely insane. So, um, and I've been working on this since really the start of the school year. It is mid-April now. I've been thinking about this since, so for a lot of months. I'm not going to do the math, but whatever. Um, can't wait to pack this up and go home. My first is going slow. Are they look they were looking right at me. Oh, I look crazy. Jesus Christ. Okay. How many minutes are we at? We're at 30 seconds. There's about 30 seconds remaining. This is exciting. I'm probably just going to cut right now. Alright, the accumulation of everything I've been working on for the past ever is happening right now. Alright, we're out of time. Oh wait. No, we're not. We got 15 minutes left. Let's go. It works. It works, look at that, look at that. And this thing is going to loop for eternity. So I took the robot apart um, and off of the parking meter. And so now just a legal disclaimer. I don't know if this is actually gonna do anything for me like legally, but um, we're gonna try um, and hope that this keeps you from getting in trouble if there's a chance of you getting in trouble. Um, this was only ever used when there was no one in the spot. Um, it was used twice and it will never be used again. And also, I'm gonna put some money in the meter. Maybe that'll maybe that'll do something. I don't know. We're putting a whole lot of money in. Look at that. We've hit we've hit our limit. Two hour time limit. I've definitely only been here 30 minutes. So you know what? I think I think you shouldn't arrest me. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been a long process. Uh, please remember to share, like, and subscribe. And also, please, if you want me to keep uploading like this frequently, uh, leave robot ideas in the comments below. That is the biggest help. If you have a robot idea, leave it in the comments below. Um, peace.